Today we're talking about three phase inverters, power. power. And where did this question come from, Ross? Um, from one of our longtime friends and customers, Shane. Shane? Hey, Shane, how you doing? He has a three phase home, mm-hmm. but we installed a single phase solar edge inverter with a LG Chem battery. Cool. So his question was shouldn't I have a three phase inverter? because I have a three phase home. Good question. So for people playing at home who don't know what a three phase home is, do you wanna quickly explain the difference between a a single phase home and a three phase home? Yeah, so it's, um, I guess in its most basic form, power is generated in, how would you explain it? I would sort of explain it like, if you look at the power lines outside, because I'm a really, you're very technical, I'm very (laughs) simple. So, The power lines outside usually have runs of three cables in a row, you'll see, correct? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And each one's a phase. So the way the power lines work is one cable will go to each house uh, in alternating sets of the the three cables. And some homes need more power, so they'll actually draw all three cables to the house. So they have three incoming lines uh, or phases instead of one incoming phase. Yeah. And that's called? Three phase. Three phase. Was that good? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yes. Um, so it's essentially to give the home more um, capacity and how much power they can use. Yeah. So um, not essential, but it's there. And people with this need to think about or this one they have solar as well because they might need a slightly different setup. So Sheng was asking, um, would he need a three-phase inverter because his home was three-phase or could he use a single-phase inverter because they're different things? Yeah, and it's a good question because... When you think about it, um, if your house is split up over the three phases, you, I mean your power, um, if your battery is only on one phase, technically you'd think that the other two phases are still drawing power from the grid. Um, that's what would kind of make sense. That's where that, this question comes from. So that's when um, we explained to Sheng the concept of net metering. Mm-hmm. And what that basically is, is the meter on your house is called a net meter. And that means that it doesn't actually read your consumption as three individual phases. So it reads them as just one big source of power. Mm -hmm. um, And that's how it measures it. So what these systems these days are smart enough to do, and I'll try not to get too technical here, is read the consumption of all three phases and push out enough battery power on the one phase to actually counteract the power coming in from the other two phases. Try and get understand that oh, one. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> let me know if I lose you. No. <laughs> so basically, example, if we're drawing one kilowatt in each phase, yeah. the battery has um, little measuring clamps over all the phases and it reads that and goes, okay, I'm drawing three kilowatts in total. Mm-hmm. What it will actually do, it'll discharge the battery three kilowatts. One kilowatt will go to the phase it's on mm-hmm. and two kilowatts will get exported to the grid. But what the meter is going to read mm-hmm. is three in, three out, zero. So therefore it's going to read zero reading when you only got the battery on one phase. Cool. Yeah. So what I think you're saying yeah. <laughs> is that it's kind of like a, like a seesaw. Yeah where if one side of the seesaw is power coming into the house and one side of the seesaw is power going out from the solar, that's how a meter reads power. It doesn't read, like, if you've got three lines coming into the house, doesn't it read them as different seesaws yeah. or one seesaw? And so if you're uh, pulling into the house from the power lines a certain amount of power, the battery is smart enough to push out to the power lines enough to, or the inverter is smart enough to bring you level. Yeah. So that even though it's not physically attached to the other seesaws yeah yeah <laughs> it still means that as a whole level it's equal exactly right so, is that right did that make sense i think i, I might have made, made it more sense confusing. or made it worse but <laughs> sort of getting there we got um, it there so, yeah it's and it's important because if we got um when we just had solar systems no one really looked into how this worked because the solar system just always exported as much power as it could yeah um so during the day, and it was, it's always been the same concept of net metering where um, if whatever your consumption is, it, it isn't done individually, it's done as a whole. So if you're importing three kilowatts over all three phases and exporting five kilowatts, mm-hmm. it's two. It's two kilowatts In. export. Yeah. Out. Yeah. 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 
So, um, but it became a, more of a question when battery storage started to come in because batteries don't just export everything that's coming out of them. They need to know through um, measuring clamps on on the power. They need batteries need to know how much power you're using. Mm -hmm. They're not they're not like solar where they export all their power because that'd be a waste. Um, so. The question started coming up, if I've only got the inverter on one phase, how does it know what the other phases are doing? Mm -hmm. Companies like Solar Edge and you know, Reposit, those sort of things, that's when they came up with this, having a clamp on each phase, mm -hmm. and the battery actually reads all three phases and exports and supplies enough to, to, get balance, in, to balance, balance the whole thing out to zero when Great. the came. So even though these days solar equipment might not necessarily be three-phase equipment, it may have the ability to balance the three phases yeah. um, and have the same effect as if it was all across all three phases yeah. physically. Um, is this new technology or like you're saying it is for batteries? Yeah, it's net metering has been around for a while. There was a different method called gross metering they were doing, I think, around New South Wales for a while. Whole different system. But I think from what I've seen so far, everything's moving towards the net metering yeah. if it's not already all moved by now. Um, so it's all pretty much now that system. It's now that manufacturers are starting to catch up. Battery, sorry, battery manufacturers are catching up because they've seen that. Sure. Um, and they've now got good solutions for three phase. Cool. So to recap, if you've got just getting solar, you don't really need to worry about three phase equipment. Yeah. Um, if you are getting a battery and you have three phase, you may need to consider some equipment to help that battery balance across all the loads, yep. but solar will do it automatically. So if you've got a three phase home and you've got a single phase inverter with solar, you're fine. Yep. If you're getting a battery on a three phase home, you might need some extra computers to help that battery balance itself across all three loads and get your house to a neutral import export and therefore zero dollars or as close to zero dollars as you can be on your electricity bill. Exactly right.